Hi friends. So now the topic we're going to see is references. Uh, if you're going to ask anyone, you know, which is the uh, toughest topic or scariest topic in C, they would say this point. Uh, because of that, there are many people who go and study, uh, you know, Java and C sharp. So similarly in C++, the topic is uh, references. Uh, now, for example, let's declare uh, int a over here and a pointer star ptr equal to address of a and keep a value in a equal to 10. And now, if we give c out, here you should ask, uh, sure, we give star ptr, not just star or ptr, ok and end in. So now, uh, Let's rebuild and then run. So some error is coming. Uh, or here, instead of giving star, I uh, wrote the address. So now, uh, if I rebuild it and run it, you can see uh, Just will run it, and yes, uh, you can see the output is uh, 10. So to reduce such errors, we give references. So give uh, for reference star c star c is equal to a, the same uh, a as above. and uh, uh, c equal to uh, 30. So now again changing the value we will print a itself to just check if the references are working. Now if I give rebuild let's check what happens and once it's run you can see the value of a has become 30. That is we are achieving the same thing we have achieved with the pointers. But it is simple now. Just like using a simple variable, we just have to initialize it once. And after that, it will be correct. And we can keep constant reference or any type of reference. Here, the important topic is uh, the declaration we should initialize. For example, uh, if we keep C alone and then ambition of C is equal to A and we try to rebuild, it will fall, it will definitely fail and see it will ask for some i value. So when we declare something, we should first initialize it. If not, the references won't work. So uh, that is uh, the only constraint in references and if we try to rebuild it again, it will work. The expected output is 30 and it has come. Okay, thank you friends. See you in the next video.